So I've been talking about this video for a long time. We are going to do a little break, bit of breaking up. It's not hard to do. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bowtie Dave. Hello and welcome to Bowtie Life. This is Bowtie David and this is... Bowtie Mark. There you go. Oh, cousin Bowtie Mark. Cousin Mark. You gotta, you bow tie gotta, Mark. It's kind of an honorary thing. because right, you, right. you wear the bow tie, we'll give you <laughs> Bowtie Mark. <laughs> That's just saying. <laughs> anyway, uh, like I already said, we're going to be working on potting up some mint. And you can see back there over his shoulder, we got a big old grow bag of mint. It's one of the ones from the garden that you see in the front and side garden tour every single month. And so we're going to talk about a few things about this. Uh, coming up with this, right now I don't have a clue what's coming up because it's gone crazy. By the time this video comes out, though, uh, I'm hoping the okra will have started producing. Won't that be awesome? Uh, it's, I see my first buds this morning. Oh, good. The first buds. In Won't fact, take long. This morning is when I recorded that segment of the June raised bed garden tour, and, and I showed one of those raised beds on that. When this comes out, it'll be a, probably about six days before. Anyway, so maybe three days. I don't know. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we are going to be planting up, breaking up the mint, and putting them in these nice little decorative pots. Now, these decorative pots, where'd you get these at? I got them at Walmart. Walmart? For $2.97 each. $2.97 each. They're beautiful. Um, under Mark, 20 bucks. I got six of them. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Mark has a veranda on his apartment. That is, we figure about six feet wide. I don't need this hat. It's about six feet wide. And Mark uh, said 15 feet long. I think it's a little over 20, probably 22 feet long. Yeah, I think it's closer it's, to 20. It's pretty long. Yeah. Uh, but he has problems with squirrels. And a lot of you, have, or some of you have commented about having trouble with squirrels. And one of the best things you can do for squirrels is to put mint in. And it doesn't stop the squirrels. Okay? Mm -hmm. It doesn't stop the squirrels. But... It will slow them down, and you should see less squirrel activity on your porch. And what they're going to be doing is they're going to be putting mint in these pots, spacing them out evenly across the front of their patio next mm -hmm. to the rail, and hopefully that'll slow them down. And I live in an apartment complex, yeah. and the squirrels are uh, everywhere. And they're almost rampant. like pets. Yeah. So they're on everything and it all over the place and have very little fear of humans. And you have huge trees that they yeah. love hanging out in and under. Yeah, and right so, by the Yeah, it's, it's, it's insanity. Yeah. So now these pots come with a little plug in the bottom. You do not want these things to hold water, okay? Uh, the reason why is because the roots will be swimming in water okay. in no time and they will rot. Gotcha. Okay, now mint is really forgiving. Um, now, okay, remember we said this is going on a outdoor veranda right on the rail. So it's going to drain just right off the edge. They're on mm -hmm. the ground floor. It's going to go right into the ground, anything that overflows. But because it's a small pot like this, you want to be careful. Make sure they don't get too dry. You might end up having to water these once a week. It is mint. Mint is That's tough. tough. Okay. Mint is very tough. And when it gets long, and we're going to talk about trimming it back, when it gets long, just cut it off about, you know, a couple few inches high. Okay. And, you know, if you want to eat some mint leaves, they're very healthy for you. Um, now, mate, you, you can, can just chew them? Yeah. I, I, I'll just, as I'm walking through the garden, I'll just pick them and chew them. Um, and then uh, you can actually hang bunches of them and dry them and make a mint tea, which is, I love. Mint and ginger tea is my wow favorite thing. Now, I've never tried that. It's good and relaxing in the evening. Mm. It will relax you. It will put you to sleep. <laughs> So yeah, it, it really does a good job of that. But you definitely want to be sure to have a drain hole in these outdoor pots. Indoor, totally different story. Now, if you wanted to move one of these indoors, you could get a little clear, I would recommend a clear tray. This so it's going drain so you, the excess. So, so to drain yeah. the excess, but you can see how high the water is. Right. Uh, but yeah, this should be good for a week, I think. Uh, I would hope so. So I'll um, check them at first, like every day, and make yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. Better. Now, another good thing, uh, another thing that's going to happen here. Now, we're sending a rosemary plant home with them as well. So, uh, rosemary is also good for mosquitoes and pests and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, this, the addition of a nice little rosemary plant. Now, this can get big. Okay. If you put it in a big pot, it'll get huge. It'll get as big as, yeah, the, big, as, the, as the pot. Yeah, Yeah. Uh, and so, this has been recently trimmed. Uh, I think it's gotten a little bit dry. I do see 
See, there's some attempts at new growth down there at the bottom. Oh yeah, little little uh, new Even new nodes. Dried out like yeah, that. and so it's been it's a little bit dry. So we actually pulled it out. It did have a ring of roots around the bottom, and we pulled all the roots to stimulate the roots to grow. And uh, I think this thing will come back. It's it's pretty dry though. We'll have to see what happens. Well, I'll nurse it and uh, worst comes to worst, you throw it away. Yeah, or return the pot. Now, should I get? <laughs> I, I'll. Get home and get another pot for this. Before you invest another pot, I would just see if that's going to grow. <laughs> Actually, you know what? We could probably come up with a nice, nicer pot around here somewhere. <laughs> we'll work on that off camera. But uh, yeah, I mean, right now I wouldn't invest in it. I would see if it comes back. So the patient may or may not live. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Where it is right now, yeah, it may or may not. Well, I'll put it on the ICU on my porch. There you go. And yeah. be sure it gets water once a week. Okay. Uh, it's a Mediterranean plant. It grows, used to growing uh, in rocky soil that gets dry. So it's it's used to having extended periods of dryness. Question is, uh, oh, in fact, you can kind of test. If you scratch the bark a little bit, it'll be green. I can tell you it's going to be green. But you scratch the bark, and if it has green under it, then it's still ready to go. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it still has green. So I, I, I bet you, I saw that over there. It's my second to the last one, folks. The last one is dead. But I'm going to have to go and okay. do a bunch more plants now. Cool. I had like 10 of those. I've given them all away. I'll let you know if it lives. Yeah. How it does. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to get into potting this mint. And let's uh, change the camera angle so you can kind of get a close idea of what we're doing. And let's take a close look at this is the mint pot that was behind the front pollinator bed closest to the front fig tree, if you're following along. It smells amazing. Oh, and yeah. Some microbes. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. We'll talk about that in just a second. So this mint plant, this is prolific. There is a lot to it. You can trim these things back hard and they'll grow back. Uh, you can see if we kind of comb out these vines, you can kind of get an idea of where everything is growing. You can see it's growing around the outside edge. There's Look, here's some new ones in the middle. Oh yeah. Growing out. There are several plants in here. Now, when I first started this bag, there was one. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this Holy stuff. Cow. This stuff is prolific. Now, this right here, that's not mint. We're gonna pull these three things out. Otherwise, you'll have uh, what I call a pepper tree in your pot. Not what I'm looking for. Not what you're looking for. This is not mint there. Uh, wow, there's a lot of it in here. This, I don't know where that. Squirrels must be burying these things. I don't know. I've even seen palm fronds coming out of these pots. But so you can see, there's plant growing there. Let me just get rid of that. There's plant growing over here. There's plant growing Essentially over here. It rings the yeah, and what pot. happens, this was probably the original here, which... I don't think that is mint. It is not. Oh. Or is it? It's too small of a leaf to tell, but that must be mint. Interesting. I don't know. We're going to reject it. Okay. It might have been mint growing fresh. Anyway, so this might have been the original. The roots grow out. They come up everywhere. The These things will grow out and they will lay down and vine themselves all over the place. And then pop back up. And, and pop back up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you do not, if you don't want these things to get long enough that it gets onto the ground outside of that railing. Okay. Because uh, it will go and uh -huh. within five years, I'll have your mint in my yard. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's prolific. Wow. So, yeah, you got to so be careful with it. just basically with a sharp pair of scissors. Yep, you just, just cut it off. And you can let it flower. Mm -hmm. It'll it'll probably grow up, I don't know, a foot or two tall with little pink, purple, flower, pink, little purple pinkish flowers. And um, they're pretty. They're pretty. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, just don't let it fall over and root itself uh, out into another area. No, I don't area. think my apartment complex would appreciate that. No, I don't think they would. Of course, it would smell wonderful. Yeah. But this is my Hori Hori. has a sharp sharp edge there. And all I'm going to be doing is finding the path of least resistance. And we're going to be cutting out chunks of this peppermint like that. So, let me just see if I can reach in here. Now, there might be some other things growing in here. You'll have to keep an eye on. But you see, like this right here, you can tell that leaf doesn't look the same. Oh, yeah. It's, totally a, flat, it's a glossy leaf. Yeah, totally yeah. different. You're just going to keep an eye. These things do go and grow in the wild. And so, let's see what we got here. And looky there. Now, we don't need that quite yet. Okay. 
there's there's a plant there and there's a plant there oh yeah ready to go cool I'm going to go get my trimmers. We're going to trim these off, and then I'm going to talk about the soil. We're putting them in. Now, this is a little moist. This did get watered this morning. Okay, so we have our plants. You can see I trimmed them back pretty hard. They should start growing leaves pretty soon. Uh, I'm hoping. Me we'll too. Have to see. Uh, the, the problem with this is that I just trimmed everything back real hard. And so if I had got your plants before I trimmed it back hard, yeah. um, probably would have had better better things to choose from but these the soil is moist so that feels good this is the exact same soil i made for my seed starting that i've been using all spring uh, i did just dump a whole bunch of water in here and it is soaking up the water um, one thing that i'm going to change and there's already some of this dr earth uh, homegrown organic natural hand handcrafted uh, tomato vegetable herb fertilizer in there already beautiful soil. it is beautiful uh, one thing to look at, the 463, this is the nutrients. Nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. And right now we've got, um, it's decent nitrogen, uh, higher potassium, that's, I'm sorry, higher phosphorus, I always do that. Higher phosphorus, that gives more root growth. Nitrogen gives it green leaf growth, and this gives it overall uh, health. Okay. And so now there's a little bit in there, but I'm going to be adding a lot more. Now this is organic. It will do it good. Uh, as Mark already noted, this stuff has a bunch of biome in it and other healthy stuff. Uh, it does very good. You can get this in a much smaller bag. Um, so it's actually it, a, a soil additive. Yes. So you put yes. a couple of cups or something yep. and then mix it up. Yeah, in fact, in those, you might want to put two tablespoons once a year. Hmm. Okay. So, you know, get this real small bag next yeah. year yeah. and just put two one on one tablespoon on either side and it'll, okay. it should be fine you don't have to mix it in or anything i'm mixing in just because we have the opportunity yeah. to here but um about once a year a couple tablespoons in each one of those pots and we're going to find out if these pots are going to be good for it pretty quick so anyway so this is the soil we're using i am going to go get a little bit more potting soil i have a bag over here and add to that real quick. Okay, so we've added some more potting soil. We've mixed in some more of Dr. Earth's um, stuff. I use this, you kind of want, for something like this, you want just regular numbers, you know, pretty level numbers mm -hmm. is the big thing. You don't, you don't want any crazy numbers on one end or the other. So all we're going to do now, so we have this little plant right here with a few little scraggly stems. And all we are going to do we're going to be, this, this is very scientific. You ready? <laughs> Pop. <laughs> wow. I'm going to have to see that again. <laughs> now, mint is a plant, I'm pretty sure, that actually grows roots all along its stem. Um, and you, you'll want to fill it up pretty high. It'll settle in pretty fast. Sure. In fact, if I go like that, you'll see it'll settle in. Yeah, now, Mark already. is not going to be watering this till he gets, it's already settled a little bit. Yeah. He's not going to be watering until he gets home because it's going to be sitting in his car for the whole mile drive over there, yeah. mile and a half. Yeah. So anyway, so we're going to fill it about that full. And that's what we want to do. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to cut out plants out of the pot. I'll give you a cluster. You drop it in there and just kind of fill the soil around it. Cool. In no time at all we got six yeah plants ready to go cool that one there we're gonna just see it, it see the green yeah that's a good sign and mint is very prolific mm -hmm. as prolific as it is i just think it'll be good be still be good uh this one over here got some roots sticking up over here 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to do with my cutters. There they are. I'm just going to trim off these uh, roots that are sticking out here because it's not going to serve it any good. But you got plenty of root underneath there. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I you put see, the this main is, one on it. It's got green on it. Mm -hmm. It should start shooting out leaves. I hope. We'll see. And the great yeah. thing is, if they don't, if they fail, well, we just come back and come back and do it again. Do it again. Yes. <laughs> How long did that take us? Five minutes. Yeah. So not long at all. No. Mm -hmm. So there we go. If you like growing mint, click thumbs up on uh, on this video. Definitely. And uh, we'll have to see. I will. I'll see if I can do a short one day. Go over to Marks and uh, yeah, show you the success rate on these. <laughs> I mean, I mean, there's two here I'm most interested in um, to see how they do. But uh, you get really good indirect sun in yep. there. It is a north facing patio. So, but but our Florida sun is very right. I, I have a feeling all four of these are going to thrive in the middle. These four. Yep. Yeah. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a blessed day.